Hi guys, Sutasu here. Today I'll make a tutorial for Starship Theory. This game don't have enough stuff on it, so we'll do it ourselves. First of all, we need to find a person with high intelligence and several engineers. For that, we should click the Create New Crew button several times until we'll find something we're comfortable with. Uh, let's find someone who'll fit us well. Okay. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. We have good smart men and two engineers. Let's start. So, in this game, it's really hard to make a good right start because otherwise you'll end up uh, being your crew dead. You start with this small pod and first thing you need to do is go to the user interface and open some panels. The first one is plan, uh, where you basically uh, build stuff. Second one is roles, where you have uh, all your crew members and uh, how many of each profession do you have. Like uh, all guys are general now and we'll make them engineers. This one is crew, here you have all your people and you see what they are doing and what they need. Now player which shows your uh, ship stats uh, like the shield, armor and the structure that's basically HP of your ship if it goes to zero you will die next one is heat uh, when you use your lasers when you use your weapons it will build up so and it will start damaging your ship so you should control it keep it low here we have ship accuracy then sensors and the ship evade. This is important stat because right here we have mass, uh, which in, uh, influences the um, encounters we have. The bigger your mass, the stronger the encounters will be. So try to keep your mass to minimum. Mass is dependent on the amount of uh, hull blocks you have. Uh, 10 of hull blocks equals one mass and also we have the evasion stat which is based on your engine and uh, navigation console operations if you have plus engine then you can use jump jump is basically your runaway button you can um, escape hard encounters with it and yeah basically very useful so yeah uh, here we have different type of alert. Red alert means that everyone will start repairing the ship and uh, do other stuff. Black one is abandoned ship. They will uh, run away from the ship, equip their space suits, which have enough air in them, so they won't uh, die because of low oxygen. And yeah, uh, blue one is uh, get back to the ship. It's useful before you're trying to jump because if you will jump with the crew outside, they will die. Next one is cargo panel. Here you can see the resources you have. Um, let's start with metal. It's the red ore, which is basically used for construction of everything. Uh, next one is silicon, the blue ore, which is basically the rarest uh, component in the game. You'll need a lot of that. Then gold, um, it's good for trading, you will have plenty of this, so don't bother with it a lot. But it's good to get some, uh, it's useful for later game, actually. Next one is food, which is consumed by your crew members, but uh, we will produce it later on. Here we have water, uh, it's uh, mined from the asteroids, the white blocks and your crew, you know, drink it. And here we have credits, basically the money. Here we have ship cargo. Uh, we should keep it not at maximum because otherwise uh, any extra resources will be thrown away. Here we have power, which is produced by solar panels and uh, reactors. Uh, here we have CPU power as well, which is produced by CPU panels and CPU arrays. So yeah, computing power, like this one. Okay, so next one is tasks, where we can see queue of our guys, what they do. Like if you order him to create a hull, 
we'll see them on the tasks panel and uh, they will do the tasks in order so the top task is the highest priority they'll do it first and go down by the list here we have required iron uh, for the construction then silicon and gold so this is basically it now we have uh, components which is basically the amount of stuff you have on your ship everything is written here you can turn on and off components and then um, you have the power and cpu requirements of each component here we have research panel uh, where we can select what we want to research um, based on the research we can unlock new components like medium solar panel requires two engineering research components pretty good so to get the solar panel we need two engineering research here we have notifications which basically tells you what's happening around you very useful to have to know what's gonna happen with your ship and here we have uh, colors so where you can customize your ship you can change the color of hull of your components of everything and make the ship really unique at least in color so basically you can change anything any way you want and uh, make your ship you know all colors and pretty good yeah let's make our ship red and for example, uh, we have our ALO gray now and we'll make it black. So there you go, we have black ALO now, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically what this button does. So okay, let's start. Um, what we need to do at start is build some additional hull to uh, house our components. We remove those uh, not full hull blocks because they don't give you any useful space to build but they add to the mass of the ship and now we will need to construct some stuff um, like we need to, to have one mining laser to mine asteroids then we need two solar panels we have one already and we have second now and i think we need two cpus as well so yeah let's place one here and uh, move one solar panel up there right yep that's pretty good so yeah and now we see that in tasks bar in the queue our stuff is down below and we want it to be ready as soon as possible so we can prioritize the task we can click uh, but, uh, you know blue button in the tasks bar and it will move the construction to the top priority or we can use the prioritize button um, yeah like this we click it and we click the component on your ship to put it in the top of the queue as well so there we go now we start the game and our guys will build the solar panels first and the mining laser next thing we need is heat vent because um, laser generates heat and if as i said if we have too much heat our ship will start burning we will need two of those let's play them here for now because we need them urgently and yeah our guys started building the ship but we will need the heat vent as a sap so we move them up in the queue right so what now now we should slow up a little bit because uh, we are getting ready for mining here is our mining laser we assign it to button one so we can easily access it just like in the most games it's control one and then we just target asteroids and let them burn as you see now we're generating some heat but it's getting dissipated by heat vents so it's pretty good here we get the, some silica and iron, as you can see their colors are pretty self-explanatory. Here is a good chunk of silica, that's really pretty cool. In this game uh, it's really hard to get silica, it's somewhat very rare, so basically that's the main resource you will need. Be really careful about huge asteroids, they uh, tend to fly above your ship and hit it, so there is a chance of collision. Um, to avoid that you should have high evasion 
and uh, well most useful is to just destroy them so they don't get there all right so yeah let's start cleaning stuff in front of our ship oh yeah some iron there good thing okay so our guys finished the whole construction and we need to make it bigger we will move the ones uh, we have close to our interior to the outside for that we'll order the um, what do we have here the heat vent over here and we will move two of those later on and then we move a solar panel down there and uh, airlock over here this will help our ship to um, be bigger and more efficient this game is all about efficiency considering that at the moment uh, matchmaking is based on the uh, ship size it's very important to keep it small oh yeah we have ship detected so this is our first encounter and few first encounters i think two or three will be peaceful for sure and then we'll have a chance of getting one hostile encounter and so on so yeah it's a peaceful guy he came over here trying to sell us something but we don't have enough of anything to trade with him yep here are their stats and what that's what they offer they can sell us crew member that's actually the best thing they can offer and they want to buy our water but we don't have enough so yeah can't help them they have food which probably we would like to buy but I think we'll manage on our own uh, and make a sufficient ship because food production is pretty important as all of the you know basic stuff so now we can remove the heat vents from here and solar panels so we'll have extra space right so uh, and we're ready to remove engine because right now our ship evasion is down to zero that means we can't use jump drive uh, in any way so we can safely remove it and use the resources from engine for th something more useful some players don't uh, ev you know don't want to remove it they think it's a bad idea but i personally think it's very uh, good for the burst at the start of the game so you can get ahead and resources and build what you need right so we cleaned the cool points and we ordered some of the interior by making floor out there we can build it when the mm, cool spot is surrounded by other cool points we will place the food dispenser over here but we need to rotate it, otherwise it will be inefficient. For rotation we need to use mouse button 4 and 5. I don't know why they decided to use those, but yeah, here we go. We can rotate it and some of our guys are getting thirsty already. So we need to place water cooler over here as well, as soon as they finish. Yep, here you go. Sweet. So uh, we have another asteroid field incoming. That's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is place navigation console over here because it's a pretty good piece of equipment. It allows us uh, to travel to asteroid fields. So we have a uh, higher amount of asteroids and that means more mining and that means more resources. Let's speed up a little bit and see what will happen. So okay, let's build some more hull over here, right, and while our guys are building, we'll mine some stuff. We can never have too much resources, we'd better slow up a little bit, it's not that easy to mine at the highest speed with current equipment. There we go, some silica, that's awesome. So yeah, basically try to mine in front and destroy the asteroids you need so you won't have any trouble with the collisions some more iron, perfectly done right, another ship is coming, he should be friendly mm, star detected 
Right, I'll tell you about starting in a minute. Yep, friendly. So let's hope we'll get enough resources for all the upgrades we need. Another asteroid, passing by. Okay, we're safe. That's good. Let's pause for a minute. Okay, we want to move the uh, lower parts of our equipment outside as well. So basically, we'll start with the um, cargo hatch. We'll leave it down there, then CPU panel down here. And uh, yeah, we don't have enough power, so we'll basically create another solar panel over here, just in case. Maybe another CPU panel here. Yep, and we're good to go. We can keep mining while our guys are walking. Oh man, those are big in there, right in front of me. Oh, good. We are lucky with this one. Oh, we got over here. There we go. We got hit by an asteroid. Yeah, I think we passed the star behind the planet. That's why we are overheating. Right, they are leaving. Good for them. So let's mine some more, maybe we'll be lucky and get what we need. No, not really, not really. Hmm. Okay, so we have some extra iron. Well, not really that much, but better than nothing. Okay, so we're out of the asteroid field. And what we need to do now is remove the pieces of equipment we have close to our insides and I want to create another mining laser or two and then um, get some more interior space so yeah now we have a navigation console and we can move to asteroid field which is pretty awesome so yeah we plotted the course and right now we're entering asteroid field again so basically we can go from one asteroid belt to another in no time that's really cool right so yeah let's move tasks over here to make it more comfortable and speed up a little bit okay i think i'll speed up a little bit more we have enough food we have enough water that's good for now so basically all we need is resources our resources so let's see what we can find anytime soon. So we finally have some iron and I think now we can make our interior bigger. Basically that's all we will need for now. Uh, we can disable the console. Right, everything's working now as intended. Okay, cool. So, yeah. We're a bit low on power, but still, everything is good. We have all interior we need. So, for self sufficient ship, small ship, that would be enough of everything. Um, yeah, we have two mining turrets constructing. Actually, we don't need another one. We don't have enough heat dispensers for it, so let's just build those two. And probably we'll need engines sometime soon, because we want to be able to evade the enemies. Okay, let's mine some more and hope for silicon, because we have plenty of iron already. Right, so... Yeah, we will need some water as well, because water is needed to create food, and we are getting low on food stocks already too. But right now let's build another solar panel, just for the energy, so we can support all our systems online at the same time. And here we go, we passed the star. Uh, we should mine why we passed star, because it generates heat and causes fires inside the ship. That's not a problem at the lower levels, but later on, when we have huge ship, you'll understand that it may cause severe problems for your gameplay. Because those guys, they really don't want to extinguish fires, they just want to see the world, world burn. 
So yeah. Let's find some more resources. We need a lot of silica to make the mining stuff and the solar panel and some heat vents. Basically this game is all about the uh, balance. You need to balance out your uh, stuff on the ship. You need to balance out the size of the ship, the crew, the consumption. Well, like in the most of the survival games. Yeah, we can remove mining lasers and turn on other stuff. So basically we can use two mining lasers now if we'll turn off the food dispenser and water cooler. But we'll still have the problem with ship cooling. So yeah, let them drink for now. That's called mic micromanagement. It can be useful uh, if you don't have enough CPU or energy in order to make all your systems work. And that's how you do it. You just control the stuff you have. So let's see. Flying in deep space, nothing in front of us. And we need silica. And we need some iron and gold too, but mostly silica. Right, so we're entering the asteroid field. And uh, I think we should switch to double mining lasers or not. Well, let's find out. And there is a ship on the intercept course. Let's slow down a little bit. We turn out food and water. And turn on another mining laser. And let's see if our ship will heat up. Yeah, as you can see, it's heating up pretty well. It's getting over the heat capacity already and uh, it can burn out really fast. Ooh, silica, thank you guys. So yeah, mining with two lasers at this stage, it's, it's not very efficient. Let's switch back to one laser because overheating will cause more problems than good stuff. We still can't mine the biggest asteroids because it will take forever and most likely we'll, we'll just miss them. And with our double lasers we're overheating pretty fast. So yeah, that's not really cool. Let's try, maybe this one will blow up with magical stuff. Yeah, we have some iron. That's not bad, not bad. Right, so yeah, we overheated pretty much. So. I'll switch back to one mining laser because I can't afford my ship to burn down here. Right, heat is going down pretty good. Ah uh, yeah, it's getting up again. Damn it. Okay, I'll just turn off the second laser and turn on the water so our guys can drink. We don't want them to die. Right, let's hope the silica. We have some water in, and iron in here, so that's pretty good. Let's get that to our ship. I like how those guys are sleeping right on the floor. Yeah, let's turn on the food dispenser for them. So, yeah, right now we need two heat vents and solar panel. And we need a lot of silica for that. I think about 5 to 10 silica. And let's find out how long it will take us to get that. So, yeah. Uh, while we are mining, I'll tell you a little bit about this game. I have been playing it for 2 days already. Uh, I played about 20 hours maybe. It's pretty cool, I like it. It has very good potential, but at this stage there are things that make you crazy about it. Uh, they drive you insane, because fires is one of those, because guys just can't put out the closest fire, they're just running around the ship and uh, doing some useless stuff. So if you can't manually ext extinguish fire, you're pretty much done. And other than that, it's difficulty spikes. When you get your ship bigger, you'll see way more powerful enemies. 
appearing, so it's not smooth. They get stronger really fast, like, like really fast. Okay, so we're leaving the asteroid belt. Let's see, maybe we'll get something useful of this one. Come on, up, nope, nothing. Too bad, too bad. Let's speed up. We still don't have enough energy for second laser. But we hope we'll find some in the near future. Right, so sometimes you can be unlucky with resources and that will lead to long waiting times to build anything useful because mainly you don't have enough silica and the silica is used in almost every construction so yeah you don't have any option to do it asteroid field ahead good thing we have a navigation panel it helps us to go from one mining belt to another without the delay so let's see if we can find something useful here oh yeah finally finally the silicon man six minutes three asteroid belts that's uh, one of the worst runs i've ever had oh man that was so slow okay considering that i have the silica i can now construct additional heat vents so i can use both uh, mining lasers there we go um yeah now it's overheating but it won't anymore because of the new stuff we are building let's speed up um yeah they are getting built our guys are constructing it so we are almost there come on oops Yep, sweet. System of heating, not anymore. Ah, right, we're at set star, should be mining here. Okay, so I want that. Yeah, that was worth it. Some silica, always useful. Come on, yep. So, right, now we have two more mining lasers not two more, just two mining lasers and this is a basic ship we can use for a while now I would like to show you something uh, what you can do if you encounter the enemy um, first of all we will need food production right, I totally forgot about it we should place it here and our scientist guy should be smart guy should be scientist in order to produce food so yeah like our guys are getting hungry um, food production consumes water so basically you consume water and you produce food which is logical not really um, they're just like in the marching movie producing potato stuff probably hopefully Right, so yeah, we got some water reserves for us, so our guys won't die of it because of the dehydration. What else can we mine? Yep, here it is. So, is she going to work? Ah, we don't have it on, it's turned off. We have got to power it up. Um, yeah, let's set across the asteroid field and yeah she is uh, operations oh, no we don't need that back to science why she's producing food what's wrong um oh yeah it's turned off let's turn off one of the vents and turn on the plant bed we don't have enough power for that so we need to construct additional uh, solar array for that small solar panel 
and uh, we don't have enough space for that we'll need the lower spot for expanding the ship um, someone's coming they're friendly good let's mine some more resources mm. yeah we can turn off navigation console for now because we're not using it and turn on small heat vent that way we can survive for a little longer so um this was a pretty tough run i'm really low on silica and i m managed to get some good amount just by now uh, we are pretty good on water our food is consistently producing and i want to show you how to uh, make your ship bigger and more efficient without the extra useless space and i wanted to show you how you can evade the enemy even with your uh, minus two ship evade so you can jump out from different uh, difficult situations i need enemy for that oh finally right this guy is hostile uh, his laser gun is doing not doing serious damage so basically our guys can fix through it without a problem so he won't do anything serious but if you want to escape you need to jump away but your ship mass don't allow that and you don't have engine but you can rearrange your uh, scientist to operations he will go to the navigation console he doesn't want to let's turn on code red because we are being attacked be careful with that by the way, I had people dying because of thirst or hunger uh, while Cold Red was active. Okay, let's see if Shane will finally wake up and get to work. Come on man, please, go. Okay, cool. So there he is and now we are ready to jump, we have plus one evade. There we go, oh. Yeah, that's why you don't want people being outside during jump. You leave them behind. That's what happened with us. So basically this concludes this tutorial. And um, you can build ship from here. Uh, make it, it bigger. Uh, as you make it bigger, you'll add more hull points. You won't be able to use this trick with the navigation console. And you will need one engine because right now when we'll finish all the hole the mass will be bigger like i think one of those of two parts um come on yep there we go we have minus three mass now so basically we can jump away even with the um scientists working the console so we need to put small engine just in case so we will escape hard encounters and keep growing at steady pace build weapons build mining lasers uh, increase your size slowly don't hurry up there you go you can build some defenses build laser turrets where you want them place more hull points and start growing steadily and you'll see how it works um, thank you guys for watching uh, if you like it please follow me for uh, let's plays and other stuff see my other channel yep and we will need research console as well because it will help us to develop new technologies we'll use the scientist for that uh, i explained it in the beginning all right so yeah goodbye thank you for watching and i hope you'll have fun